Benedict Matherin's harrowing childhood tragedy led him to become a trendsetter as he took an incredibly unique route to the NBA, where he instantly began to set new records. At just 12 years old, Matherin channeled a horrible tragedy to chase his dreams. Man of many talents, Mathurin grew up in Montreal playing hockey and football. He was the youngest of three children to L.V. Juin, a Haitian immigrant working as a nurse in Montreal. His father, Felix, wasn't much part of their life and died in 2013. Elvi was almost always working, so Matherin's older sister, Jennifer, was a constant babysitter for Matherin and his older brother, Dominique Juin. Naturally, Matherin sees his older sister as his idol, not only because she played four seasons at North Carolina State, but also because of her relentless work ethic. She was my idol before, and she still is today. She always pushed me, and she was always better than me, obviously, because she was older and stronger than me. But she always pushed me to be better than her, and she kept me on a straight path for me to succeed in life. The siblings grew up in a brutal and dangerous neighborhood. It was a pretty rough neighborhood. It wasn't easy. There were people who chose the wrong path. A lot of people died. Drugs, guns, shootings, and violent stuff. I've always been around it. That really shaped me as a person. I learned to be grateful. My family kept me focused on the things I wanted to do. Basketball is really what saved me. Basketball came into Matherin's life early on. However, a tragedy would force him to completely lose himself in the game to cope with the trauma. When he was 12 years old, Matherin had to come to terms with the loss of his older brother, who passed away in a bicycle accident at the age of 15. In pursuing his dream and his brother's, Mathurin would end up doing something that no other Canadian player had done. Matherin's love for the game would take him to one of the most unique basketball environments. But first, his basketball obsession started when he was just a baby. His sister would bring him to her games, and he would sit in his stroller and soak in the game. Not long after, he started walking and dribbling the ball. It was evident that Matherin had the skill set to be unique, so his sister's coaches asked him to practice with the older players. But his sister only allowed him to practice if the bigger kids promised not to take it easy on him. She didn't want to baby her little brother. I always told my friends not to be nice, to beat on him and stuff, so he was always stronger compared to his class. He always looked better when he played with people his age because he played with older people all the time. There was no, don't block his shot if he's going for a layup. It was no, block his shot, be physical with him. That led him to always find a way to score. They're coming for me, so I have to find a way to be creative. This mentality would pay off when Matherin took an unprecedented step in his basketball journey. 2018. Matherin became the first Canadian player to join the NBA Academy Latin America in Mexico City. Along with adding moves to his bag, he added more languages to his arsenal too, as he can speak fluent English, French, Spanish, and Creole. The NBA Academy is a year-round elite basketball development program that provides top high school age prospects from outside the US with a holistic approach to player development. It also allows prospects to learn the game from coaches who the NBA hires with professional, collegiate, and international coaching experience. Athletes attending NBA academies are full-time students and receive full scholarships to attend. Matherin said the two years he spent attending the academy was the best thing he could have done for his future basketball career. And he wasn't lying, as the things he didn't in college were truly remarkable. What kind of things do you have to accomplish to join a particular group of players that includes James Harden, Jason Kidd, and Kevin Love? First, to join that group, you need to get a spot in a good college program. Considered the best Canadian prospect in his class, Matherin's incredible play in Arizona set him apart from his fellow Canadians and foreshadowed things to come. In his first year with Arizona, Matherin played 26 games and averaged about 25 minutes a game. In that time, we saw him score nearly 11 points a game with pretty good efficiency but we would have to wait another year to really see what Matherin was all about. The following year, he started all 37 games, averaged 32.5 minutes a game, and increased his scoring to almost 18 a game with more boards, assists, and steals. He would be named on the first team all Pac-12 and win the Pac-12 Player of the Year, joining guys Harden, Kidd, Love, and many other greats. At the NBA Draft Combine, Matherin earned NBA comparisons to Devin Booker and Jalen Brown, and although he has a lot more work to do to get to that level, but he started his rookie year way better than those guys. In fact, he set records in the NBA right away. Matherin first made waves in the NBA not because of his elite play, but because of what he said about LeBron James. He was selected sixth overall by the Indiana Pacers in the 2022 draft. During the media scrum, Matherin said this about LeBron. I want to see how great he is. I don't think anybody is better than me. 
he will have to show me he's better than me. When you call out someone like LeBron James before you've logged a minute in the NBA, you better back up everything you've said. And that's precisely what Matherin did. After becoming the first ever Montreal-born player to be drafted in the lottery, he had an explosive rookie debut where he came off the bench and scored 19 points. That might seem like a flash in the pan, but the league wasn't ready for things to come. Matherin followed that 19-point debut up with 26 against the Spurs, and then upped the ante to 27 against the Pistons. His 72 points through the season's first three games were the most by a rookie since Jerry Stackhouse. A couple of games later, Matherin's exceptional scoring led to him becoming the first pacer to score 100-plus points through their first five career games. Talk about setting the bar high. When Matherin laced up his sneakers, he started etching his name in the history books. In December 23rd, he took home Rookie of the Month honors as he averaged 19 points and four rebounds while shooting above 40% from three. His incredible play on the court also earned him a spot in the NBA Rising Star game and earned all rookie honors at the end of the season. On top of that, his ability to put the ball in the basket also made him the third fastest rookie in Pacers history to score 1,000 points. The following year, Matherin kept his competitive edge and ensured players knew they couldn't guard him. His attitude, mixed with his skill set, even won him the MVP award at the NBA Rising Stars tournament. He could earn generational wealth with his upcoming deal if he keeps up his elite play. Matherin must have been dreaming about making millions in the NBA, but his reality might surpass those dreams. Matherin is on a four-year $29.9 million deal with the Pacers. Every penny of that $29.9 is guaranteed. Annually, he takes home $7.4 million, but the best part is yet to come. The money in the NBA is growing every year thanks to the new media deals and sponsorships. Nowadays, a $100 million contract is typical, but when you're a young star on the rise like Matherin, $100 million is on the cheaper end. In another couple of years, he could make far more than he had ever dreamed. But more than his impact on the court, what he is doing off the court is what makes him truly special. What's the point of fame if you won't use it to help others? Matherin has his fair share of fame. On Instagram, he has 186,000 followers. He uses that platform to show off his super sleek fits and game highlights. While on X, he has almost 35,000 followers. Because he is so influential, it's important to use one's fame correctly. Matherin does this by advocating against the use of things like vaping. In Quebec, Matherin is the spokesperson for anti-vaping and uses his time back home to coach young kids. It's no wonder world-renowned brands want to work with him. One thing that can boost your net worth is a couple of big endorsements. During his NBA career, he has made almost $30 million. A good chunk of that goes to taxes, agents, and managers, so having some brands backing you is clutch. For Matherin, the one brand that has his back is Adidas. He has been featured in several Adidas campaigns and often posts about them on his social media account. That said, we'd estimate that Matherin's net worth is around the $8 million mark.